right, Jeremy, we're here. Debut match. Uh, I said this to you a little bit ago, but uh, right now you are like Wanda in Avengers Endgame. Uh, in the final battle, everyone is like, I don't even know who this guy is. And you're like, you will. Um, that's right. the only time I'll make a fandom reference. But uh, how are you feeling? You excited? Uh, we're happy to have you in Club Dread. I'm looking forward to seeing your first match tonight. How do you feel? I appreciate you guys bringing me in. I'm super pumped. I've been a fan of trivia and everything for a long time. So let's, I'm just ready to play, man. I'm just ready to show what I got. He's been waiting years for this. Let's do it. Good luck, Jordan. Yep. Better luck to Jeremy. Good luck, man. Hello. Uh, good luck to you as well. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, if uh, if I'm going to be uh, an MCU member, I guess I'm going to be Strax or uh, Drax. And I'm just going to be somewhere in the background of the fight. You know, I'm there. I'm doing some good work, but I'm not the focus. That's me. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Multiplex Movie Warzone. I am your host, Caleb Lobo Boatman, and today we've got a great match for you. We've got Jordan Huffman going up against Jeremy Potter. Should be an interesting match. But before we go to them on the desk, we got Mr. Dylan Vanthine. Dylan, how are you feeling? Feeling good. Uh, this should be an interesting match. I'm not a historian of this league by any means, but I believe that this is the first time someone has ever faced themselves in the league because these guys have very, very similar strengths. So it should make for an interesting match. Absolutely. So without further ado, we'll bring in our competitors and we will get started with round one. Round one's going to work like this. Eight different questions, eight different categories. You get all every eight right. You get a bonus question, three repeats, and a challenge allotted to throughout the entire match. Remember to keep your hands on screen at all times as we get into Sorry, your I first... I moving my cursor. Okay. We get into your first question, which comes in the category of rom-coms. Amelie takes place primarily in what country? More of a romance or a comedy guy. That's definitely been asked before, but filling air time. Yeah, it's definitely been asked before. <laughs> um, definitely probably more comedy. As If we're talking my life, I don't know if we're talking my life or film chase. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Jeremy. Uh, let's say France. And Jordan. As did I. Both correct. All right, your next question comes in the category of actors and actresses. What actor has played a serial killer, a superhero, and a vice president? Which of these, uh, oh, the, the other members of the writing team, who's a superhero, who's most like a vice president, and who's most like a serial killer? Hmm. Well, I feel like the obvious answer for serial killer is gotta be you i'm sorry right. and no, then i'll be the other two three two without it being egotistical one, at all hands down let's go to jordan i know two out of three i wasn't sure about the third so i said christian bale and jeremy I said charlie's there on uh christian bale is correct the films being american psycho the dark knight trilogy and vice oh vice okay oh yeah dick cheney okay yeah as we get into your third question in the category of musicals, what musical features the songs Tomorrow, It's a Hard Knock Life, and Maybe? I, Dylan, you're not a musicals guy. No. no. Did, did you, I assume you didn't do any plays or anything in high school? Five. Uh, I did a couple, and they were not great. <laughs> Hands down. That's fair. Let's go to Jeremy. Annie. And Jordan. Annie. Annie is correct. All right. Next question is in the category of war. What 1999 film co-starring Mark Wahlberg and Ice Cube is about a group of Gulf War soldiers who decide to steal gold from Saddam Hussein? I once tried to steal gold, but... It wasn't from Saddam Hussein. It was from Fidel Castro. Was it Canadian? <laughs> it's all in Canadian. I think so. It had it had weird pictures of queens on them. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Jeremy. Uh, three Kings. And Jordan. Good flick. Three Kings. It is a good film. I like it. 
As we get into your fifth question, category of drama, all of the president's men revolved around a scandal in the administration of what U.S. president? Uh, you know, two questions ago, Annie was the answer. And what I just want to know is, uh, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Please comment down below, Annie, if you're watching this. Yeah, we need to know. We need to know. It's important. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. One. Pens down. Let's go to Jordan. Nixon. And Jeremy. Richard Nixon. That is correct. I think we can accept Nixon. We didn't ask for first and last name, and I don't think and there are any other presidents. I'm not Canadian. Or I'm not American, so sure. <laughs> I'll give away a secret. Uh, oh. In the category of Oscars, who many, uh, who many, how many a Best Actor Oscars has Tom Hanks won? Who are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, can we get hands on screen, please? Oh, yeah, sorry. We're good. Reading sometimes can be very difficult. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Jeremy. Two. And Jordan. Back to back. Two. That is correct. And your penultimate question, category directors. Who directed 2019's Us? I'm sure it's not how directed. You know, it could be, could be. If I would have read it, that's probably how it would have came out. Sorry, that's who fair. it would have came out. I'm trying to get all the mileage I can out of this joke. That's fair. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Jeremy. Jordan Peele. And Jordan. Jordan Peele. That is correct. Hey, his first name. Hey, it's easy. I could make a joke about that if I was funny. <laughs> All right, and your final question in the category of classics. What is the profession of Sidney Poitier's character in In the Heat of the Night? I hope you can't hear the laughing outside of my door right now. That's true. Something's going on downstairs. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Jordan. I think it's a police detective. And Jeremy. Detective. Detective. Police detective. Both of them. And with okay. that, I believe... Oh, with that, Jordan does have a perfect round. So, Jordan, you will be getting a bonus question. This is just to you. You don't have to write it down. What is the subtitle for the sequel to Lara Croft Tomb Raider? Oh. Cradle of Life? That is correct. Nice. So... Coming out of round one, J Jordan is in the lead nine to Jeremy's seven. Is that what you have, Dylan? Yes. Okay. So now we will be bringing in, uh, we'll be bringing in the wheel for round two. Round two is going to work like this. Uh, each competitor is going to get a chance to spin the wheel. If they like what they spin, they can keep it. If they don't like it, they can spin again. But then they're stuck with it. They're going to get five questions, whatever category they get. They get to write two points, multiple choice from a point. Get it wrong. Other player gets a chance to steal. Okay, and our categories on our lovely wheel tonight are J uh, Jordan Strengths categories of 90s comedies and sports movies, Jeremy Strengths categories of sports comedies and 90s action adventure. What, what two completely different strengths that are nothing alike? <laughs> we also have musicals, animated, comedy, and coming of age slash teen. So, uh, Jordan, you are in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer? Um, I'll defer. Okay. We will bring in Jeremy's manager. Jeremy, so one, Jeremy. your spin. All right. And you land on sports comedy. So would you like to keep that or spin again? Yeah, I think we'll keep it. 
And sports comedies, just to reiterate, is uh, Jeremy's strength. So, <laughs> correct. So people at home are not confused. So, we'll <laughs> out Scott, and uh, I'll I'll give Jeremy his question in the category of sports comedies. Okay. All right, Jeremy. First question. In 2005's The Longest Yard, Torres enjoys watching what daytime talk show? Five. Multiple Four. choice, please. Multiple choice options are A, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, B, The View, C, The Talk, D, Good Morning America. Uh, I'll say the view. That is correct for one point. He loves him some Joy Behar. Mm. Next question. In Goon, Doug earned what nickname playing hockey? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, the mauler, B, the beater, C, the thug, D, the basher. A. A is incorrect, Jordan, for the one-point steal. Your options are A, the mauler, B, the beater, C, the thug, D, the basher. I was thinking A as well. Um, I'll go with my second choice, D. D is also incorrect. It is C, the thug, Doug the thug. Oh, okay. Yeah. Your third question. In Major League, what Olympic sport did Rene Russo's character compete in? Uh, the general sport or the specific event? General. Swimming. That is correct for two points. 200 meter medley. <laughs> I like that you asked that. Yeah. Right. Your penultimate question. Who plays Buttermaker's daughter Amanda in 1976's The Bad News Bears? Tatum O'Neill. That is correct for two points. Thanks, Paul. Cool. Thank you. And your final question. Nico better learns information for his citizen test. Sorry, I'm going to start that over. Nico better learns information for his citizenship test by doing what in Here Comes the Boom? Yeah, multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, comparing it to fighting, B, taking a deep breath, C, making up a rhyme, D, singing. Singing? That is correct for one point. So that ends the round, or the, the spin. Jeremy at 13, Jordan at 9. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yes. Okay, so we will get into Jordan's spin. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, Jordan, your spin is away. All right. And your first spin is going to land on the category of musicals. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Spin that again. Okay. This is the category you are stuck with. Did you land on comedy? Okay. All right, Dylan, would you like to give Jordan his questions in the category of comedy? Absolutely. All right, Jordan, your questions in the category of comedy. How do the Griswolds get the European vacation and National Lampoon's European vacation? Uh, they win it on a game show. That is correct for two points. How are Derek's model friends killed in Zoolander? In a freak gasoline fighting accident. Is that correct? Sorry. <laughs> that is correct. Okay. <laughs> Full disclosure, we just have blown up in the document. But <laughs> he, he, he was very specific. But very specific. <laughs> All right, your next question. What 2010s comedy features a cast that includes Jake Johnson, Hannibal Burris, and Ed Helms? Tag. That is correct for two more points. 
took me a second. If you said Jeremy Renner, I would have bam. <laughs> what instrument does Tommy Johnson play in Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? I'm going to need multiple choice on that one. All right. Your options are A, harmonica, B, banjo, C, guitar, or D, piano. Shot in the dark. Let's go with banjo. That is unfortunately incorrect. We will go to Jeremy for the one-point steal. Is it A, harmonica, B, banjo, C, guitar, or D, piano? I'll say C, guitar. And that is correct for the one point steal. All right, Jordan, your final question in the category of comedies. What causes Jack to fall unconscious during the global power outage after which everyone forgets the Beatles in yesterday? Okay, can you repeat that, please? Sorry, that was a long one. Absolutely. What causes Jack to fall unconscious, unconscious during the global power outage after which everyone forgets the Beatles in yesterday? Let's do a multiple choice on that one as well. All right, your options are A, falls down the stairs, B, hit by a bus, C, punched in a fight, D, falls off the stage while performing. Let's go with D, falls off the stage. Uh, that is incorrect. We'll go over to Jeremy for the one point steal. Is it A, falls down the stairs, B, hit by a bus, C, punched in a fight, or D, falls off the stage while performing? I'll say A. That's also incorrect. We were looking for B, hit by a bus. And he was just unconscious. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So uh, we have Jordan at 15, Jeremy at 14. So you have no. As we get into round three, round three is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get to pick what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-point question. Categories A will be able to pick from today are sports, quotes, romance, war, comic book movies, 1980s, family, and Western. We're going to let them pick their categories right now, and we will get back to you right now. Okay, we are back, and our competitors have picked what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-point question. Jeremy has picked his one in war, his two in westerns, his three in sports, and his four in comic movies. Or as Jordan has picked his one in 80s, his two in comic movies, his three in quotes, and his four in sports. So we will start with Jeremy for his one-pointer in war. Dylan, when I give Jeremy his questions. Yep, so your one-pointer in war, Jeremy. Who directed The Hurt Locker? Um, Catherine Bigelow? That is correct for the one point. So since we're tied, we'll go back over to Jeremy. Or Jordan, sorry. Jordan. We both have J name. <laughs> we'll go over, and the same strengths. Uh, we'll go over to Jordan for his one-pointer in 80s. What does the title refer to in 1983's Christine? The car. That is correct. All right, so we'll go back over to Jeremy for his two-pointers in two-pointer in westerns, right? That is correct. All right, so Jeremy, your two-point question in westerns: What profession does Billy Zane's character have in Tombstone? See the sheriff. That is incorrect. We were looking for actor. Oh, right. Right. So we will stick with Jeremy for his three-pointer in sports. All right. Jeremy, your three-point question in the category of sports. In a league of their own, what position does Rosie O'Donnell's character play? Five, four, three. Repeat, please. All right, that is your first repeat. In a league of their own, what profe uh, what position does Rosie O'Donnell's character play? Third base. That is correct for three points. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So now we will go over to Jordan for his two pointer in comic book movies. Who plays Mr. Furious in Mystery Men? Uh, ben Stiller. Correct for two points. All right. So with that, we will go over to Jeremy for the. No, we'll Tony Jordan, Wong, sorry. Jordan has more questions. Gotcha. Sorry. My bad. So, Jordan, your three pointer in quotes. What actor said the quote? Insanity runs in my family. It practically gallops. Scott, uh, can you repeat that, please? Okay, that's your second repeat. What actor said the quote, Insanity runs in my family. It practically gallops. You said actor. Anthony Perkins? That is incorrect. Looking for Cary Grant in Arsenic and Old Lakes. <laughs> Yikes. That's tough, man. So uh, now we will go back over to Jeremy for his four in comic book movies. Can I get a score check? Uh, we are tied at uh, 18 to 18. Yes. Yeah. All right, Jeremy, your four point question in comic book movies. What is the name of the crime boss played by Michael Wincott in The Crow? I do not remember. Okay. Let's see. Five, four, three. Uh, repeat, please. All right, that is your last repeat. I believe. I should have one left. Yeah, he has one more. What is the name of the crime boss played by Michael Wincott in The Crow? Five, four, three. Repeat, please. All right, that's your last repeat. What is the name of the crime boss played by Michael Wincott in The Crow? Yeah, Mr. Black. I don't know. That is unfortunately incorrect. We were looking for top dollar. So now we're in a situation where if Jordan hits his four-point question in sport, he wins the match. If he doesn't, we're going to sudden death, boys. Okay, Jordan, your four-pointer in sports. What 80s sports film features Robin Williams and Kurt Russell as old high school friends that played football together? The Fisher King? That is incorrect. We're going to <laughs> sudden death, boys! Let's do it. Uh, the correct answer was the best of times. Oh, never seen that. Okay. Time. Never so, heard of it. We're going to sudden death, boys. Uh, so, sudden death is going to work like this. Uh, our competitors are all going to be given the same question. If they get it right, they if they both get it right, we keep moving on. If they both get wrong, we keep moving on. One hits, one misses. That's the game. Okay. Dylan, take it away with our first question. Sudden All right. death. Your first question in sudden death. In My Girl, what item does Anna Chlumsky attempt to return to Macaulay Culkin's dead body? It's been a great match so far. It has been a great match. It's been quite epic. Oh, do I do a countdown too? Whoops. I can do it. Five. <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Jeremy. His glasses. And Jordan. You can't see without his glasses. That is correct. All right. Your next question in the category in the category of sudden death. Whoops. 
In what year did Johnny Depp play the titular characters in both Cry Baby and Edward Scissorhands? Jeremy, can you have your yeah hands? Thanks. Yep. All good. This might be five, it. Five, <laughs> two, one. Pens down, and we will go to Jeremy. 1991. We'll go to Jordan. 1992. Both, Both incorrect. We were looking for 1990. Wow. Oh. That was scary. <laughs> All right. Your next question is in actors and actresses. Or no, in fantasy sci-fi, sorry. They don't have categories. They're all just sudden death. Your next question, then. <laughs> Sorry. Michelle Pfeiffer, Robert De Niro, and Charlie Cox all have roles in what 2000s sci-fi film? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Whoops. <laughs> and we will go to Jordan. Is it the Golden Compass? We will go to Jeremy. Stardust. Oh, and yeah. your winner, <laughs> Jeremy Potter. <sighs> that is correct. We're going to go to post-match interviews, starting with Jordan. Jordan, that was a game. That was... was an excellent match. Neither competitor should hang their head low in that regard. That was that was an epic, epic, epic match. Uh, how how are you feeling? <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. Um, it, it was fun. You know, it's always fun to do trivia. So I, I'm, obviously, I'm disappointed. I I definitely should have known that. Um, I took a I took a wild guess, but I should have definitely known that last question. But it's okay. It was sudden death, so who knows what would have happened next? You know, you you never know. So I can beat myself up about it, but it's okay. Uh, I played good, had fun. He played well, and he played better. So no big deal. I'll be back. That is fair. Uh, well, you're zero and one, but you're a you're a dangerous zero and one now. So uh, we'll we'll be looking out for you on the prowl, getting that W. We'll. We'll get you a match sometime soon here because you you played excellently, my friend. Thank you so much. Now we're going to go over to Jeremy and his manager, Scott. Jeremy, you pulled off the victory there. You were you were behind for a lot of that match, and you were yeah. able to just come out and get the win. How are you feeling? I feel good, man. I mean, he started out perfect. I mean, he played better. Just, he, it came down to, like, which terrible fantasy movie do you remember? You know, like, which one was which? It's sudden death. I mean, Good match, man. I mean, Dylan set it up front. They're basically the same person, so I guess it's inevitable that we ended up here, you know, several rounds deep into sudden death. Not to make it about me, but I'm just – I feel vindicated to have somebody win their debut match in sudden death because uh, it went the other way for me. So that was very satisfying it's to true. see. But great match uh, by Jeremy. You see now why we put our faith in him and invited him to Club Dread. I think uh, he's definitely somebody to watch out for, and he scored a lot of points here. And great match to Jordan as well. All right. Well, Jeremy, you're one and O. We'll probably be uh, seeing you uh, in the 32 person tournament that'll be in the summer. Sweet. Uh, you know, I don't know if you've been watching the matches, but it, who are the people you're potentially hoping to like? Oh, that's someone who'd be fun to play or, or anybody like I, that. I kind of thought about this in case I won. And I just want to quote him. I don't know any rankings or anything, but let me just let me just quote him. And then I think you'll know who I'm talking uh -oh. about because he's a psychopath and I love him. <laughs> yes. Oh, my family. Yes, oh. I, I, look, I can't make any promises in terms of – obviously, I can't make that's any just, promises in terms that's of – Dreamcasting. If the records work out literally at any point in time, I'm going to try to make that match happen because that seems like a blast. Uh, so <laughs> – Thank you to Jeremy. Thank you to Scott. Dylan, uh, Scott kind of referenced this match. I think this is the best debut match we have had since Adam Collins played Scott Harvey back in uh, 
That that was that was season two. Absolutely. Yeah. Horizon, Horizon's getting old. <laughs> no, yeah, that was fantastic. I mean, very high scoring going into round three, and I it just it came down to sudden death as I kind of predicted it would be because yeah, these guys are very much on the same page, it seems like, taste-wise. So they were getting a lot of the same stuff right. And, yeah, it was a fantastic match. Yeah, excellent. Uh, great job to both competitors. This gets me excited. I'm I'm excited. This I'm happy. Uh, great job, everybody. Thank you to Jeremy. Thank you to Jordan. Thank you to Dylan. Uh, thank you to everybody for watching Movie Wars. And I'm Caleb Little Boatman. Have a good one. Fun storm in the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye.